Hello everyone, welcome back to this session. So today in this session, we're going to see how we can create a monitoring service for a particular application which will be running on a remote host. All right. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead and start with this session. So let me quickly jump on to my browser so that you guys can see that we have two hosts right now, localhost and slave one. This we already did in the last session where I showed you guys how you can add a host to the Nagios server, right? which the host which is being monitored so right now the st status of this host is that it is up and running right now what i want to do is i want to create a monitoring service which for an application which will be running on this slave so what i'm going to do if i go to services right now i can see there are no services which are monitoring any application which is running on the remote host right so what i'll do is i'll first install a service called sudo apt get install apache 2 i want to install an apache service which i can monitor in nagios for this particular server okay so apache is getting installed yes so apache is installed now now if i go to the browser i should be able to see for the nagios slave an apache service right so apache page is working now what i'll do i'll go to my server right let me just clear the screen and now I will go to templates or let us, yeah, go, let's go to templates or let us go to localhost configuration first, right? Now in this localhost configuration, you will find a service for, right? So I want this service to be copied. I'll just copy this service, right? And what I'll do, I'll make changes to this particular service and I'll make it a service for monitoring the HTTP connections. So what I'll do now, I'll just go to the configuration file of my host one, right? And I'll paste the service over here and let's make changes to the service now, right? So this is the service. Now we want to use a template for the service. Let's say it's not a local service. I'll say it's a generic service. So there's a template for generic service inside templates.cfg. You can have a look at that. The host name for this service would be the same as the host name for your host. So the host name for my host is slave one, right? So I'll write exactly slave one in my service as well. So I'll do that. I'll call it slave one service description. What do I want this description for this service to be check Apache. Okay. And the command for this particular service would be check underscore HTTP, right? So this is the official command for checking the, uh, if anything is running on port 80 of any computer, right? So you can have a look if you want to try some other application that you want to monitor, you can just Google out the service or, or, or the command that you would use over here to monitor that particular application, right? And most of the times you will get a command in case you don't get a command, just Google how you can define a command for basically monitoring uh, the application that you want, right? Now, all you have to do is if you find the right place where you just have to create a command, go inside commands.cfg, right? That is there in your etc directory. And inside the commands.cfg file, all you do is create that command, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, the way to create a command. And then you can use that command over here as well. So check underscore HTTP is already a command which is existing in my Nagios server. And I'll show you the uh, definition of this particular command when we go in commands.cfg. For now, uh, the service is ready. So what I'll do, I'll just save the service, right? And now I'll just restart the server. So for restarting, this is the command. I'll pass this command. So my Nagio server is now restarted. Now, if I go inside hosts, I can see slave one is up. Now, if I go inside services, I can see that slave one now has a service which is in the pending state, right? So what will happen? It will basically take like two minutes for this to refresh and to check whether a service is actually running on port 80 of slave one. Okay, so let's give it that time and then check after some time. All right, guys, so as you can see, the, the service that we defined is now under the status of OK, right? So now my service is running fine and I, you can check the status over here that HTTP is OK and 11,192 bytes were responsed back to the request in 0 0.002 seconds. So you can get all the performance details here. You can see that the service is up and running since the past five minutes. So I think it took around a good two, two and a half minutes for the service to turn green because Nagios took that time to basically analyze if the service is healthy or not. All right. Now, similarly, if I uh, disable the service, you would be able to see that in another two minutes, this server will go into critical state, right? So let us do that. I'll just go to my 
terminal and I'll say sudo service Apache to stop. Right, I just did that. And now if I go to the IP address, I can see that the page is no longer coming. Now it is five minutes, 39 seconds right now. So let's see, five, six minutes, 45 seconds right now. Let's see when um, our service can get into a critical state. All right guys, so as you can see, the status has now changed and it says that the status has changed since the past 18 seconds, right? So it took a good four minutes for this service to go into critical state. I guess that's how long Nagios uh, checks in intervals as to whether a service is working or not, right? So as you can see, it says connection refused. Reason being now Apache is not running on that particular system. All right, guys. So this is how you create a service uh, in Nagios. And similarly, you can create any kind of service uh, for your particular application that uh, you want to monitor. Right. All you have to do is either check if you have an internal command which is going to match for your application or you would have to create a command for yourself using some plugins. Right. So all of that can be checked online when you're working because there could be zillion applications that you would be working with. Having a look at all the applications is difficult because with everyone, they'll have different kind of needs for the kind of applications that they are monitoring. Okay. All right, so I forgot about one thing. Let us also have a look at how you can create a command in uh, Nagios, right? So let us let me jump back to my terminal. So all I have to do now is I'll have to go inside commands.cfg, right? So let's go inside it. So we use the command check underscore HTTP, right? So let's first that command first. So if you go inside commands.cfg, you will have all these commands over here. Notify host by email. Then you have check host live. Then you have check local disk, check local load. Then you have check local procs, check local user, check local swap, check local MRT, check FT. FTP, right so all these commands are then being mapped to their command line usage so if you pass this command you this command is basically being passed on your Nagios host if you are using the command check FTP okay then you have check F HPJD, check SNMP, check DSP. What I'm gonna do is I'll just go click on where is and I'll search for HTTP Okay, so here I get it. So on this command, you can check that if you want to define this command, the command name is check underscore HTTP. The command line for this is dollar user one and then check HTTP hyphen I host address dollar argument one, right? So this is the command which you are using when basically you are just calling check underscore HTTP while defining a service. So basically what you're doing is in your service, you're basically calling the check underscore HTTP command, which in turn is calling this particular command, which is being uh, passed on to the command line through which you are able to check whether HTTP is working or not. Right. So let's define a command for ourselves. Uh, let us call this command as let us call this as command name would be command underscore name let's call it as a let's call it test test underscore stdp okay and the command line for this the command line command for this would be this let's paste it right and let us let me just align it all right so this is done and now basically we all we have to do is close the brackets save the file right so the file is saved and now let's go inside sudo nano host one dot cfg okay and now i would want to create a service right um let's name this service as we'll use everything which is the same here except the command so we'll just go down to the earlier service that we created we'll just copy everything paste it here so we have to paste this commands here and then we'll close the brackets the check command will now change to test underscore HTTP. The check Apache, let's change the text to check Apache test, right? And everything else will be the same. Okay, now let me show you one more thing. So you can also control the interval in which Nagios is basically uh, checking your command. So what you can do, uh, let me just save the file here. We'll go to templates.cfg, right? So let's go inside. So we're using the generic service template, right? So let us go inside sudo nano templates.cfg and now let's try to search for generic service 
right? So here it is. So the generic service is defined like this, that you have check freshness is zero, notifications enabled is one, event handler enabled one, flap process performance data. And you can check over here that in check interval, it's 10 minutes, right? And the retry interval is two minutes. So if the service is normally uh, functioning normally, in that case, it should check for the freshness of, a, of the service or check whether the service is again working or not in 10 minutes from the time that the service goes down. So let us change this to one or what you can do is you can also change this when you're calling this service. So let's change it over there. So basically you have to remember that this keyword, which is check underscore intro interval and the retry under underscore interval. Okay, so let's go out. We're not going to change anything here. What I'm going to do is I'll go to sudo nano host uh, one underscore CFG. And now in the service, I'll just specify, I'll specify retry underscore interval. And I'll give that number to be say one minute, right? Similarly, what I'll do, I'll say check underscore interval. And I'll again specify it to be one minute. So every one minute, even if the service is up and running, it will check if the service is running now. If not, it will retry again to check the service, whether it's up again or not in the another one minute. So with this, you should get a faster uh, response onto when your service will become okay on your Nagios dashboard. All right. So we've specified this. So we have changed the services. So let's save the file now. So I'll save the file like this and now I'll restart Nagios. So let's search for that month. Here it is. I've restarted Nagios. And now if we go inside the browser, here's my browser. What I'll do is I'll do a refresh. I'll go to services. And now I can see there are two services which are running. So because we stopped the Apache service on our server, that's why it is saying it's in a critical state right now. So what I'm going to do, let me go here and let me, okay, so we'll start Apache server, but first let's wait for this pending state to become to critical. So what I'll do, I'll just click refresh once again, I'll go to services and let's wait for this service to become critical. In that case, what I'm going to do, we're going to see that in how much time it becomes okay from the time when we basically up the service. All right. So let's wait for this to become critical. All right. So as you can see, the service is now critical and what we can do now is we'll go to this system and we'll start the service now. So I'll start the service like this, right? So this service of mine, which is check Apache is basically uh, working at 10 minutes interval and two minutes ret uh, retry time. On the other hand, my this service, which is check Apache test service is retrying at every one minute and checking the service also at every one minute. So let's see if there's a difference that we see over here. So we'll just refresh it and see which service becomes up and running again. All right. So you can see that my check Apache test is already in the OK state now, right? So it became OK faster than the check Apache service. If I again refresh the service, I can see that my check Apache service is still in the critical state. Reason being the check interval in that case, I did not configure and it took the default values of my generic service uh, template, which had 10 minutes of check interval and two minutes of retry. Right. So basically, if, if this state is in the retry state right now, it should take around two minutes for this to become OK. Right. On the other hand, my Apache service, because my check intervals is just one minute and even my retry interval is one minute, it became OK faster because Nagios is now checking the service pretty early than what the way it is checking with it, checking it with this particular service. So if I again click on these services, I can still see that this is in a critical state and check a party state is in a okay state. All right. So this was it for this session, guys. All right, guys. So thank you for attending today's session. So I hope you guys learned something new in this module. So have a great day ahead and goodbye.